right at his 10th birthday. But uh, I'm blessed because about somewhere around 13 years ago, this little boy's daddy got saved. And I baptized him right here in this pool. He asked me last Sunday, Cameron did, he said, where will I be baptized at? And his daddy said, in the same place I was. He said, Daddy, who baptized you? He said, Brother Ronnie. So I'm glad this is three generations here with Jerry and Dot, Robert, and Daddy, now Cameron. Thank the Lord. I wish everybody could have been with us. Well, I'll quit. <laughs> Let's pray. Father, in obedience to your command, because you told us to go into the highways and hedges, and compel people to come in that your house may be filled and to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. It's our pleasure and a privilege today to baptize Cameron in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. assembled here together to give praise and thanksgiving for the many blessings that you've given to us, Father. We ask that you forgive us for where we fail thee. We ask, Father, that you walk with each of us in our needs, our wants, and our desires. Be, Father, with our trials and tribulations, whether it be mental, physical, or spiritual, Lord. We ask for your comfort. We ask for your blessings, your understanding, and your mercy for this beautiful scene here today where this young man has taken an extra step in securing his salvation to show, Father, his love for you and for the love for the Word of God. We pray, Father, for a nation that the children of God will come together to see the true Savior. Father, walk with us now. Heal us, Father, in our sickness. Be with spoken and unspoken requests. Help us, Father, to find praise and to find mercy in your love. Thank you for the miracles that you've performed here in this church. Thank you for this church and for the leadership and for the brother and sisters that we have here. In thy loving name we pray. Amen. Amen.